welcome back to my channel in this tutorial i am going to teach you how to set up c++ on visual studio code and how to run c++ program on visual studio code so let's get started at first ensure that you already have installed visual studio code on your system and then open visual studio code and then click on view and then open extensions here search for c++ extensions pack and click on this extension that is developed by microsoft it may take a while for installing the C++ extension pack contains three package C or C++ and C make tools and C or C++ themes. After installing C or C++ extension pack, ensure that GCC is installed on your system. On Linux, open terminal by pressing Ctrl Alt T at the same time and write this command gcc hyphen hyphen version and also g plus plus hyphen hyphen version. You can follow this official documentation. If GCC is not installed, run the following command from the terminal window to update the Ubuntu package list. Update the system using this command sudo f get update and then hit enter and then use this command to install gdb debugger tools i already have installed it on my system c or c plus plus extension pack installed successfully let's create a folder for your c or c plus plus program i'm going to create a folder on desktop now open this folder with visual studio code Then in Visual Studio Code, create a new file. I'm going to name it main.cpp. Hit enter. Now write a simple C program that will print a message Hello World. Okay, now save this file. Now I'm going to run this program. Click on this run button and select run C or C file. From here, select a debug configuration. I'm going to select G build and debug file active this is my compiler path for c++ programming it may take a while for activating extension and 
building and loading the project. Okay. Now click on this run button. Here you will see the output hello world. Now I am going to create a simple C program. I am going to rename this file main.c and then I am going to update this code Okay, now save this file and then click on this run button and here you will see the output hello world. That's it. Now I am going to take a user input. I am going to define variable name it number. I'm going to use scanf function for taking input. I'm going to display the user input using printf function. Okay, now save this file and run this program again. Here, enter the number. Click enter. Here, you will see the output. Like, comment, and share. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial.